Good morning, everybody. I needed to ship a 40-pound, 3-horsepower outboard motor to Tennessee, and I couldn't find any information on YouTube about somebody making a container for a small outboard motor to ship by UPS or FedEx. So this is what I came up with. Here's where we are at at the next step. I'm uh, making this up as I go along, so we'll see what happens. This is one box. This is the second box. And the ends are opened up. And I glued them back. So this is folded back and glued. And they were glued the sides, one side at a time, by putting these bricks on them when it was laying flat on the floor. So now I'm going to put glue on the inside and lay this down on the floor and put glue and our bricks on the inside, let it dry, and then do the next side. And that's gonna lock in the box. Then we're gonna put the motor in and we're gonna use this foam to level it because the, uh, as you can see, the, the container isn't flat on the bottom. And so this will be level and then have to lower it down inside and then we can cut this off and then start slicing and folding down and making a new top because it won't be as high as this. It'll be about 40 inches. So it'll be right around here. So it, this will strengthen by being not as tall. And then these parts will be cut and folded over. I can score the edges or the, the, the seam with a blade and fold it easily. And once again, use the bricks to glue it inside. And I'll be using the plastic wrap to put around the outside also. There's going to be an extra piece of uh, cardboard cut out and an extra piece of foam to put on the bottom to help reinforce the bottom. And I'm going to get a couple of foam boards so when the uh, motor goes down inside, I can brace, put the uh, foam on, the, on, on one side because this will bow out if this is pressing against this might bow out so I'll put a, a board down here I'm trying to keep the weight low because I, I don't know if there's a limit to the weight for the boxes that they'll ship so uh, that's where we are with the experiment this is where we're at and I think the plastic storage bin was a handy idea that's going to be very helpful as is the little plastic bucket. All right, onward and upward. It's kind of dark, I don't know if you can see, but it fits. No room to spare, which is what we want. We want something nice and snug. So now I'm going to cut these corners down and fold over the flaps and glue them so the top will be in secure on top. It's pretty solid. So long as they ship it upright, um, that motor's not going anywhere. 